Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sandflex channel. Today we're building the high grade Universal Sentry from the MSV, the Bioline Custom 02. And, you know, I bought uh, the white and blue version because there's two versions of it. One of them is uh, gray and black, and the other one is white and blue. And I bought the white and blue one. So, you know, starting the unboxing first. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, six packages. It's actually a pretty big box. And you know, oh, a brand new instruction book. I'm very happy about that. So let's take a look at it. Uh, so it introduces the uh, Mosul and introduce the weapon or the transforming system, some color guide, and you know, quickly flick through it. Let's just quickly flick through it. Um, Oh, there's a tail booster that you can use from the uh, other one. I I don't know. I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Quickly for crew that. Okay. Now let's open the runners. Right now, so let's look at the runners. So this is the A runner. We got some uh, waist part, the knees, shoulders, uh, thrusters, and torso and legs. This is the D runner. We got the uh, the inner frames and some the torso parts, uh, ankle parts. I uh, know the ankle parts, the lower leg armor parts, thrusters, and uh, some hand joint and some guns part as well. That's the J runner. We got the uh, is it actually a new runner? I think. This is the new runner. Uh, we got the torso, the the gun, uh, some shoulders, and the side booster as well. Another J runner, exactly the same. We got a B runner, uh, the the fill cans and the shoulder parts and some knees parts, some arms part as well. Another B runner, exactly the same. E runner, the back waist large uh, thruster, and some. I don't know which part is that actually. The G part or this uh, pipes on the whole uh, bialat, and that's the C one part. Uh, that's the uh, shoulders, some side skirt, some. The head part as well. Well, you know, actually, I'm very sorry. I actually never built a byline custom before, so I don't know which part is which. Uh, so that's the F runner. That's the, uh, that's the uh, antenna, and that's the torso part. I don't know. Uh, that's the H runner inner frames, and some uh, we got some waist inner frames, some shoulders, some uh, knees as well. We got a C2 runner, just like the C1 runner with the shoulder armor and the legs armor as well. And that's the hand option, which don't have a number by the way. And then we have two stickers. Uh, wait, actually we have a clear part, the clear part for the eye camera. And that's two stickers. We got a very large stickers and the marking stickers of the uh, Gampo, you know. I don't expect it's going to be anything good, but you know, we still going to build it. Um, because I can't see this much stickers, then that means it's not going to be something good. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to see you guys at a review.
Welcome back to the review of the Bialan Custom 02. So this is the finishing of it. So a couple tips that I want to say though. Uh, if you you know if you got spare money, then buy this. If you don't, I think you don't have to because seriously though, it's not anything new. Like I check uh, with the original Bialan Custom and the Bialan uh, that being released this year. I, I check with it and it. It's not having too much um, difference except the backpack and the weapons but you know uh, so far we got four Bialans from Bandai we got the Bialan Silver 2 and uh, we got the Bialan Custom, the Bialan and the Bialan Isolate from the Twilight Axis and um, you know I, I would just say though it's not very this one uh, it's not very important so if you if you got spare money then go for it if you don't then it's fine with it but you know I just like the color so that's why I bought it plus I bought it with a pretty cheap price before uh, it was like uh, I think this one has been at my back lot and I just forgot to build it and you know it sits in the shelf for like what uh, almost half almost five months and now I brought it out uh, anyway that's not the point and my point is um, <clears throat> This gun plot is pretty huge, so if you gonna build it, um, before you build it, make sure you have enough room in your shelf so you can put it in it. And you know, let's jump right into the review. So now let's start with the head. So the head of the Bialan is actually no different than the other uh, Bialan uh, unit. And actually, it's very easy to pop out as well. So, you know, during to these large shoulder pieces, so uh, it couldn't really move. So, except it can be just move up down and probably slight to the side though and you know the head movement is pretty limited during to the um, the oversized armor on the uh, unit so you know it's not going to be having too much uh, movement on the head now let's move on to the large shoulders so the piece down here is actually a free white sticker so I recommend you to repaint it because that sticker actually looks horrifying and it and it's loose as hell I'm not joking and um, you know so first let's talk about the movement so you know the whole Bialan's unit can uh, move the shoulders about for slightest movement uh, the booster up here 360 no problem because it's a ball joint and by the way is the part of the arm is actually very easy to flop, uh, flop out and in the arm can spin 360 as well it can bend about 90 bend 90 degrees slightly a little more than 90 degrees and the hand down here is uh, also 360 removable as well whoops and the balancing is not very good and you know uh, I will just quickly show you even because you know the gun fell down so which is why I think it's a good opportunity for me to show you the uh, gun so you know the gun is actually not for both you actually have to put out the gun and then put it back again so and now there you have it now the gun is up it's a pretty long gun though so you know uh, just be careful when you messing around with it because you might got some balancing problem now I'm gonna put it back and by the way I got I do have a bingo on my mobile suit so my other arm of the bialan is actually broken is and it is it just you know it slides out if I just slightly pull it I am not sure why I didn't I don't think I'm missing any I don't think I missed any uh, polycaps or anything like that but for some reason it just doesn't stick in and then 
it's very easy to pop it's very easy to pop out i don't know i'm not sure why actually so you know uh, i got a slight problem i guess i got a slight problem on the arms but allow me to quickly talk about the torso though uh the torso is you know pretty plain but the color separation is doing a quite good job uh, at least we don't have to you know uh recolor something but you know uh so especially the uh, sp the significant uh pipe here is actually by a separate piece so you know i'm very happy about that and you know pretty much nothing to talk about it so you know let's talk about the waist the waist here uh the black part here i don't get it why do we need this black sticker like that part could just be a separate piece but you know uh bend our logic and um also uh this a unit don't actually have a proper action base join you have to you know separately made one and then plug it on and the side skirt is nothing really exciting because the side skirt basically is can't even move basically the side skirt is can't even move and you know let's test about the uh, legs so the legs uh, move to the front 90 and the joint is very tight by the way uh, move to the back 90 as well because you know there's no interruption at the back skirt which is why you can move it anywhere you want uh, side because there's because there is the uh, shoulder part blocking in the way so probably 45 maximum and you know it can bend slightly more than 90 degrees and the feet is a is a double joint so you can you know move the feet whatever you want to the position you want it and the feet is also a ball joint which you can uh, you know do some slight movement with it and the tip of the feet is movable at the and this and the back foot also is movable as well so you know the feet actually gain us a lot of movement but here's a problem uh the violin first is very heavy on this uh on this weight on the gunpla second is during the backpack have a very long cannon and so sometimes this violence uh, zero two actually got some standing problem which you have to watch out about so you know just get a balancing point and just leave it there now let's talk about this two gigantic cannon so first uh let's talk about it the wear waste here is actually a piece of black sticker here which could have been done by past separation as you see here is the black sticker you actually have filled it in and i completely don't get why you need stickers for that part because you know you can just give up a separate piece but you know bandai as i just said bandai logic and um you know let's talk about the cannon so the cannon actually have a double joint so you can adjust it to whatever angle you want to you know the maximum can be moved to this front which is 90 degrees so i would just say the cannon can move uh, 90 degrees and you know that's pretty much the cannon uh, introduction because you know there's actually not much to talk about though uh, the only thing that i would say though uh it got some sort of detail in the cannons but you know if you really want to show it then you have to repaint it by yourself which is some heavy work and next we will talk about some accessory first so you know we got a pair of open hands and we got three uh, pieces here that you can connect it with the tail booster from the uh, Gavrant uh, uh, which is the Gundam Setters series Gunpla I don't actually know how to pronounce that name is the uh, or orphan or orphan I I don't know how to pronounce that anyway it's the tail booster and you know I would just put the name on the screen and you can go look it all right now uh, let's show you the transformation process so you know I I skip a couple steps because you know it's too annoying to show you on the video uh, I I'm afraid you're gonna be you know very annoying and uh, so first um, you know, first you need to move the thrusters back, then you need to bend each arm at a opposite direction. As you can see, the, so, you know, just remember like this, the green pipe is facing out, bended. So, you know, when you first in the MS mode, is the, uh, it's facing that way, now it's facing this way. So just remember that. And um, now, uh, just, you know, just, now all you have to do is just bend the tip of the feet like this. And and uh, by the way, the the violin joint, uh, the actual uh, action base joint is actually not very tight. So 
you have to be careful about that and next what we have to do is just bring clothes and then we're gonna need to put on that oh god well, the next two step is uh, uses the, the blue piece to connect the guns together then you clip the back cannon with the joint of the hands and then yeah you should form something like this you know and I gotta say though this is probably the weirdest transformation I ever see on a heavy duty mobile suit this is probably the weirdest tr transformation I ever see it kind of feels like they force the Bailan to be trans uh, transformable because you know the Bailan for me is a you know high mobility type uh, mobile suit and it's a probably is a you know a very operative mobile suit but you know it's kind of, the bar the Bailan Zero Two gives me a feeling of forcing it to be a transform a transformable mobile suit because you know after you transform it actually look pretty weird uh, in my opinion it. It doesn't even fit the film, you know. Uh, so, you know, I would just stick with the MS mode. <laughs> so this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know I can't, I know I didn't show you the transformation completely because, uh, you know, when I off camera try to transform it, I screw up a lot as well. It actually took me a pretty long time to figure out how to transform it because the instruction book actually said it kind of blurry. And you know, I took some time to uh, you know understand that. But you know, anyway, that that's how it looks like when you in the MMO. As I just said, it's looking very weird. So you know, let's just keep it as an MS mode. Let's not keep it as an MMO. But you know, uh, I just kind of show you what it looks like first. But you know, anyways, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel as well for more gunplay review. And I will see you in another video. Goodbye.